Hello and welcome to the Delphi how-to video series. My name is Steve Jervis and I'm a master tech here at Delphi. Today we'll be looking at diagnosing and replacing the faulty mass airflow sensor. The mass airflow sensor measures the volume and density of the air entering the engine at any given time. The ECU uses this information in conjunction with input from other sensors to calculate the correct amount of fuel to be delivered to the engine. So to begin, connect the Delphi diagnostic kit to your vehicle. Select the correct make, model, year and engine code of the vehicle you're working on. Record the fault codes and record the live data parameters for the MAF sensor. Then exit the diagnostic software and switch off the ignition. Now we can work on the vehicle. Remember, safety is priority and personal protection equipment is necessary. We would now use a multimeter to check feeds and earths and also use an oscilloscope to just make sure the pattern's correct. Now we've determined that the sensor is at fault, we can go ahead and remove it. So first of all, we can take the connector off. Carefully unscrew the sensor and gently slide out the housing. We just inspect the pipe for any cracks or signs of leakage. If there was any kinds of cracks, then we'd need to replace the whole unit. If the housing is crack free, we can go ahead and replace the sensor on its own. It's important to handle the sensor connector only. Never touch the electronics as this may damage the sensor probe. And gently lower it into the housing. Now we're just putting in the fasteners and nipping them up. Now we can put the connector back on. Now we need to re-establish communication with the DS tool and clear any fault codes. Now we need to just start the car, make sure the fault's gone and the warning light has now disappeared. And then we'll take it on a short road test. That's how you diagnose and replace a faulty MAF sensor. For more how-to videos, be sure to visit our website, delphiautoparts.com. And thanks for watching.